Hey guys, Kurt Haas here from Iron Haas Gear, and it is leg day. We got back to legs probably about eight weeks ago. We just realized not being in the gyms, we weren't going to have access to leg press and hack squat and leg extension, leg curl. So we decided we had to get right back into doing this after a couple of months off. So we started off with the squatting, started with kettlebell catcher squats, bodyweight squats, just to kind of get everything going again. And after a week or so of doing that, we decided it was time to get into some safety box squats. And as you see here, that's what we warm up with. And some weeks we'll focus on high reps, some weeks we'll focus on low reps. Today I was focusing on doing lower reps. I wanted to go heavy. So kind of alternating every second week with that as well. And here what we're doing is sitting down to a bench. So it's not a super low box, but it's not a high box. And what we're doing here is making sure that when we sit down, we sit back into our hips, drive up through the heels, Keep that core stable, keep everything tight at the bottom. So we work with a static hole into an explosive move. And uh, again, I like it because it helps me just, you know, maintain a good squat depth. I'm able to control things and just get back into squatting. So what I decided to do was to focus on getting good at this again, getting comfortable with it, using some knee sleeves here for my knees, and just getting confidence back hitting the squats. So I decided today that I was going to go for some heavier stuff. And the same thing, right? When it gets heavy, you want to focus, you want to be braced, you want to be careful. You just want to make sure that you're ready, you're not rushing it. Here I believe I've got up to 405. And again, I'm just recording my sets. So when you do singles, it's pretty quick on the video. Here you can tell I'm a little more careful. I sit back, rock back a bit, stabilize shoot up out of the hole and walk forward i didn't use a belt for the first sets but Go. for this 405 and this is a 435 this is a personal record a pr the 405 went really smooth so i was debating whether to go up by 20 or 30 pounds so i decided to go up 30 rock back nice and tight come on and here i go drive out of the hole it went better than i thought it would which is always good overall yeah. and from there we're moving into some stiff leg deadlift as a secondary hamstring glute exercise using the figure eight strap so i can focus on the stretch here i'm working on sets of eight i did a set of 225 before this this is 275 got a quarter in the middle because the guys are using 185 so i don't worry too much about what the weights look like i'll just slap the weights on in between everyone's sets so that we can just move again the rest that we're getting is long enough for I believe it was four of us working out today. And here I'm going up to 315. And I believe I did 315 for two sets. I don't know if I videoed both sets. But again here, trying to keep the back neutral, get a good stretch in the hamstrings, stabilize, and go a little bit deeper each time. I'm just really working on the glutes and on the hamstrings here. Nice and smooth. This has been the heavy that I've been going for uh, the last little while in stiff leg deadlift. Yeah. Here, yeah. So here I am doing a second set. Oh, that looks like a warm up set of 225. Yeah. Sorry, the video is out of order. Sometimes when I'm looking at the thumbnails, they all look very similar. So I do my best to make sure I put them in the right order. So this was the 225. So I did film that. I did 315, and I did do two sets with that. I'm back in the rack. And I believe this is my final set here. 365. This is the heaviest I've gone in, as far as I can remember, for a good 15, 20 years. I used to do my legs a lot when I was younger, but got away from it. And then got into a lot of kettlebell training, so I would do the legs that way. Catcher squats and different mobility moves. So the 315 felt good. I wanted to do this. This definitely felt heavier. And I know I'd been doing eight reps. But on this set here, I believe I stopped at six. And just because I could feel my back getting a little too tired, I, again, I don't want to risk an injury for an extra rep. I'm not greedy that way. The reps will come. Yeah, so I it was six. It felt good. It was very taxing. And then that was it. Then I just went into finishing off just a little bit of biceps, just some seated alternate dumbbell curls. Again, we do the majority of our bicep work on Thursday, but I like throwing in a second day just to get a little extra blood in there. Keeps the arms thick. 
I just find that since I've been doing this, my elbows feel really good. I don't have too much balance, imbalance from my pressing muscles over my pulling muscles. So basically my triceps and my biceps are more balanced. So my elbows just feel healthier and better. And the arms are thicker and bigger, which is never a bad thing, is it? So here I'm doing alternate curls. I believe I'm doing sets of eight here. And I believe I'm using the 40s. That's one thing I was telling the guys, since we've been focusing on using more dumbbells, I remember when we first got into the dumbbell training, just grabbing the dumbbells felt awkward because I hadn't done them in so long. You know, focus a lot of barbell work and then onto the machines. So I find now after, you know, what was it three, three and a half months that we've been working out in the garage, I just stronger overall grabbing the dumbbells, just more capable. They don't feel weird, doesn't feel off balance. That's because the body's reacting. The whole body is engaged when you grab them. So because of that, I'm able to go heavier, but again, trying to keep good form. Could I go heavier here? Yeah, but I wanted to get the eight to 10 reps. I wanted to focus on the bicep squeeze at the top, you know, turning the pinky in on the way up each time. And again, four of us. So rest while everyone does their set. And then I pop it in here. I believe I did four sets here and I believe I went for some extra reps on the last set. I don't know if this is the last set I have recorded here. We'll find out. And again, just focusing on the bicep. And again, hot day, big leg day, takes a lot out of you. So one of the reasons why I sit down for this exercise, just gives my back a little bit of a break after the heavy squatting and a heavy bend over row, uh, stiff leg deadlifts. I just want to give my back a little bit of a break here and focus on the biceps and just recover a little bit at the same time. You know, I get a lot of guys asking me, you know, at 52 turning 53 in six months or so, you know, what's the key to, to training when you're older? And, you know, I believe in pushing hard and working as hard as I can, but I also believe in listening to the body to see what's going. So guys, that was it there. One of our shorter workouts. Mondays are like that. They're just quick and simple. A couple leg exercises, then we move on to a little bit of biceps. And the whole purpose behind that was to get the legs training again, but also it's a shorter workout. So the recovery for the rest of the week is, is just better overall. Uh, that's on Mondays. We do legs now. Tuesdays, we do heavy bench take Wednesday off, Thursday it's back and biceps, take Friday off, and on Saturday we do volume benching and triceps, and then Sunday off. So really like the split, I like the way of taking the break in between. I like having the fourth day, I like having the focus on the legs, but at the same time it's not an hour and a half workout, we're getting in, uh, hit things pretty quick, and then get out. So again, they're not over overdoing the nervous system or the joints of the ligament to the point that they can't recover fast enough, because for me, recovery is also as a whole, you know, once your nervous system gets tired, it doesn't matter what body parts you're doing. Once your nervous system's tired, everything's tired and everything's beat up. So really want to monitor that overall. So I'd say that's one of the big things is being an older lifter is to pay attention to that. Um, be the better I eat, the, the better food I put in my body, the better I recover. That's also part of it. Um, but again, just, you know, get in there, great workouts and really, really enjoying the workouts. It's funny where I was talking to the guys yesterday and we're always saying the same thing, you know, great workout, one of the best so far. And I said, you know, we say that all the time, but it's because we're just in a really good groove. So every workout ends up being a really, really good workout. So it's a great spot to be overall. Um, happy with the way things are going. Um, you know, just, just things are good, you know, and I was saying, it'll be really interesting when the gyms do open, what it'll be like getting on the machines. You know, we're going to be so much stronger so that when we get on the machines, I think we're going to see a big jump in the weights we use and how easy they feel comparatively to using free weights like the barbell squat, like the dumbbell work everywhere and stuff that requires so much more of the body working together in unison. Uh, when you go to an isolation move like a machine, we're just going to be stronger. So looking forward to that. I mean, I am looking forward to having a little more of the variety and, and some of the workouts as well. I'm not going to lie to you that way. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm in a really good spot, really happy, uh, just, you know, killing it and just keep working towards getting meaner, leaner and meaner and more muscular. Meaner is never a problem. Guys, that's all I have to say on that for now. Any questions, kurthaas at gmail.com and uh, catch you guys on the next video.